So I started really being interested in cooking um, when I was in my teens. I went to my, my fam, my, my dad got transferred to uh, Hong Kong on work, and um, I went over. I was almost finished high school here, and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do afterwards. And while I was there, I just kind of started going through the markets and stuff like that, and seeing all the interesting foods. And um, and I had kind of a few months off because I, I didn't go to school there. I wanted to finish up here. So I, I just basically took that opportunity to take up a hobby and cooking was a hobby. I ended up just really enjoying it. And so when I came back to Toronto, I, uh, I was really eager and keen to get a job in the industry right away. I'd be a chef at a small inn in uh, Walters Falls, which is outside of Owen Sound, Gray County. And when I was up there, I really started using uh, a lot of the local farmers uh, as producers and as a, a suppliers for the, the menu for the restaurant um, so that included fish and vegetables but then a lot of meat as well and I really really um, was amazed at the uh, the kind of bounty that was available uh, and I was surprised at the lack of um, I guess exposure of that kind of stuff down in Toronto in the city I know there's a there's already a few stores and quite a few shops and butcher shops and everything like that that kind of had uh, they kind of like had that stuff on their on their menu, so to speak. But there wasn't a lot of like focus on it, at least not enough that I wanted, or at least not as much as I would have liked to see. So I thought, well, there's a hole in the market there, and I could I can really do something there with that. So yeah, that was basically the impetus for the shot. So when I did come back from the um, from up north, I didn't uh, uh, I didn't have an idea, an exact idea of what I wanted to do. Well, I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but I didn't exactly know when or how I was going to do it. So I, uh, I came back to teach at uh, George Brown College originally, and I had a great time there. I really enjoyed teaching. Um, the students were great. Uh, what I did, exactly were you teaching? I was teaching a, um, a couple of different classes. Uh, one was the kind of... It was actually interesting because <laughs> one of the classes was a foot, had my foot in my old career, which was... Uh, uh, it was a finishing class on how to play more modern restaurant plating and stuff like that and food. And then the other one I taught was butchery, which is, you know, brought me to this, <laughs> my future. So I, I really enjoyed doing that. I realized though after doing it for a while that I, I don't think I really enjoyed the, the kind of confines of working in an institution like that. Um, I really enjoyed my coworkers and the students, um, and George Brown was a great school. Uh, but I, I really felt the desire to, you know, set it on my own. Yeah. Anyway, so it's always been a part of my life, <laughs> and I go through phases. Like I don't know. Like I'm, I'm a, a, a bit of a, like, a bit nerdy about music, and I, I go through a lot of phases of listening to things exclusively for a long time. And I, at least once a year, I go through a Stan Rogers period where I listen to him exclusively for about like two hours a day for like a month. Back in the fall, it was the Les Mis soundtrack. <laughs> Excellent. <It's> amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. good. And uh, so, so I, I go through these kind of phases. And, and yeah, so Stan Rogers as a, as a personality and as a, I mean, it's, a, it's such a, 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 a Canadian icon, sure, but it's a very emotive type of music, right? And I like anything that kind of rises emotion in you. Um, yeah, and I guess, I mean, there's so many songs. I, 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 yeah. I, I guess Northwest Passage is like obviously a huge, a, you know, a, a huge song for a lot of people. But how does that one go? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for just one time, I'll take the Northwest Passage. <laughs> anyways, if, if there is a like a singular animal that I really enjoy cutting, I guess. I guess it would be made like a pork, like, like a whole a whole pig. I can break it down pretty quickly now, and um, there's something there's something kind of quite soothing about running your knife through the fat of a of a pig, like separating the uh, the skin from the loin and all that kind of stuff. It's uh, it's very satisfying. <laughs> in a way. Yeah, yeah. And then the the my favorite cut of meat, though. I mean, in terms of cooking and eating. Would definitely be like a super well marbled, juicy steak. I, uh, uh, yeah, like death row meal. Absolutely. You can't beat it. 
can't beat it for me. Just like a really, really beautiful steak and, uh, and a nice wine.